0-3-4-6-3. Correct. N-3-6-2. Yes. An inspection by the International Atomic Energy Agency gets underway in India. A shipment of foreign nuclear material has arrived. What we're doing today is uh, we're physically counting each assembly, we're checking the serial numbers, and we'll also be checking the uranium content with instruments uh, to confirm the uranium content from the manufacturer. The fuel is for a new nuclear power plant at Kadam Kulam. Because it's imported, the inspectors must verify it's all there. Behind me is the fissile nuclear material that will be used to fuel the reactor for the next two years. It's come from Russia and now it's the job of IAEA inspectors to monitor that it's used peacefully to produce electricity and not diverted for military use. I put here the detector close to the fresh fuel assembly and I measure with this computer the presence of a U-235. When I see the peak, I record the presence of this peak and I can say that the fresh fuel, the presence of uranium-235 is confirmed and that the fresh fuel assembly is verified. Inspections like these have been occurring for about 30 years in India, whenever the nuclear fuel or reactor was imported from another country. As demand for electricity soars, India intends to dramatically increase nuclear energy. In February, an agreement was signed to extend inspections to more civilian nuclear facilities. Presently, we have six reactors under safeguards. These inspections are set to increase in the future when India offers more reactors to the IAEA for safeguards. Mr. Sandeep, for the cameras, did you mean... The inspection moves to the heart of the nuclear power plant where the fuel will be loaded into the reactor core and surveillance cameras mounted. The camera will be installed on the top here of the reactor building. We will have two sets of camera, one on this side and one on this side. The core will be also sealed with metal seal and during this period of, of time all the core fuel and the spent fuel pond will be under containment and surveillance. And so the fuel it will be under our control.